So here we have myosin. And myosin is trying to get in contact with actin. All right. Now, actin has three older brothers. That's how I think about it. It has three older brothers, right? The oldest brother, his name is troponin C, right? Troponin C. So I'm going to actually draw him kind of like this because he, since he is the oldest, he serves as an, a, an umbrella, right? He takes care of all the other younger brothers. Who's the middle brother? Troponin I. Right there, troponin I, who is found just beneath troponin C. And then who's found just beneath troponin I is tropomyosin. See, it looks kind of like an M. All right, then we put a little face up top. And this is our contraction man, all right? So the idea is myosin is trying to get in contact with actin, but actin has three older brothers who are gonna protect her, right, from this myosin individual. So what happens is from the sarcoplasmic reticulum, say over here, what will be released is calcium. Calcium is released. And then what calcium will do is that he will head towards troponin C and invite him out for a couple of drinks. So now calcium and troponin C will leave, thus exposing troponin I. Troponin I, being a younger brother, seeing that his older brother is going out, would also like to accompany him. So he'll say, hey, let me go with you. So troponin I will also leave, thus exposing tropomyosin and tropomyosin being the baby brother says hey i don't want don't just leave me here right i want to go with you guys too so tropomyosin leaves and now actin is exposed so then what happens is myosin will come down and fuse with actin and then we have contraction see now notice at no point in time did we need atp for contraction. So make sure you know that you do not need ATP to contract a muscle. However, you do need ATP to relax. So where's ATP added? ATP will be added right here, right next to actin. Once ATP is added, it's kind of like calling, kind of like call, uh, calls back all the other brothers. So once ATP binds to actin, myosin, will release he'll go back to his starting position tropomyosin will come back troponin i will come back troponin c will come back and then calcium will head right back to the sarcoplasmic reticulum uh well to be stored for later use